How's it going, everybody? Today we are going to be playing some RDO. And we are up against Morgan Le Fay, the new god. Uh, I don't know her kit super well. Uh, played her like twice and played against her a few times, but we should be we should be good enough to, you know, to win, I suppose. I don't really have any, <laughs> anything else other than to say than that, you know. I'm just going to try my best to win. Uh, we have two choices in the RDO. We can either go Blood Soaked for a ton of sustain or Bumbas for the infinite cooldown. I'm going to go Vampiric Shroud because I feel like Bumbas. Uh, we just got a video with uh, Athena doing doing Bumbas. And some people feel a little bit, you know, differently about Bumbas. Some people think it's too strong in duel. So we'll just go for something, something average, you know. It's still very good. It's still very good on RDO. Uh, either item but uh, vampiric definitely gives a better early game uh, but with bumbas if you ever go it highly recommend it's pretty fun you just go one two three with your autos in between get infinite cooldowns but we'll go vampiric this time maybe we can go bumbas another game all right let's keep going who are we up against or uh, not who but where she didn't steal my blue buff. Or my red buff. You may notice I'm trying to auto as much as possible between abilities. That is her everything? In fact, I might want to dive her. Uh, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. My audio is way too loud for myself. I don't know why. Okay, that's probably fine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> It's not going to adjust the recording audio, but it's going to adjust the, the audio for me. It was way too loud earlier. Hey, stop autoing me so I can blink. Can you still kill? Never mind. I could have killed, but I kind of dropped the ball on it. It's okay. Might still be able to kill her. Got to be careful when she hits level 5, though. I think that's what she's waiting on, but I'm not going to let her. Ooh, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, I'm out. Thought I could kill her, but I can't. Sad. All right, I'm out. Fine, Morgan Le Fay will play it safe. This is incredibly powerful. The only thing I don't like about Morgan Lefay being added to the game because there's more again, and then now there's more again. And I'm going to always say the opposite names. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, is her red buff up? I don't actually know. My red buff is currently up. She just took that. Okay. And go for mine then. Ooh, but she's already back in lane. She's going for her speed right now. Ah, that means she might intercept me at my red. This well, hopefully we can secure it in time. No, Maxing my three because it's huge damage when it comes to closing in on range gods in Druid stance and it's great burst in Bear stance. Uh, usually depends on matches if I max my three or my one, but I definitely, I rarely max my one against uh, range characters because I can't land it as often. But the three is so good for getting close and then switching to my stance for that for that burst, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. Even though uh, even though she doesn't have an escape, my vines are still good for lowering her power. So. Keep that in mind. She might she have to ult here. And if she doesn't, she becomes roadkill. Finish her off with a three. If she ulted there, I still would have been able to kill her just fine, though. Uh, we're going to back up a little bit so she doesn't stop my back. And we're out of here. We're going to go straight into Bancroft's. Although, oh, I, I completely forgot. I was I was going to rush Spear of the Mages this game. That's okay. I can go into Spear of the Mages right now. It'll all work out just fine. I'm assuming she is starting a Kronos pennant. Give her a lot of cooldowns. That'll be good. Good for her, not for me. 
I'm actually a level down, even though I have first blood. Yikes. That's because I had to back up in the first wave. Sometimes losing an entire mini wave is worse than dying in the early game. Hopefully taking that buff will help. Also, I need to go take my blue. That'll help with coming back. Hope you all are doing good. Uh, I've been working on some projects, some coding projects. For those that don't know or possibly new to the channel, I do a lot of programming. I'm a computer science uh, major, got my associates recently. And a project I've been working on is a God request bot for Twitch streamers. So one thing if you're a streamer you might do is like if somebody subs you might play a God request for them. And I have had a bot on my stream for about two years now that basically when somebody subs my mods can add a God request to a list and it keeps track of all of it for me and it has some visuals for the stream and it's really cool. And some people have asked me, hey, is there any chance you would release something like this? And the answer is finally yes, I'm very close to releasing it. Uh, I had some problems with it because it's my first time releasing a program, but it should be available pretty soon, so it's pretty cool. I might have a video showing with that off pretty soon, as well with some other projects I'm working on that have to do with Smite, but also with coding. Alright, we should burn dead. Unless? <laughs> Unless? Hold on. <laughs> Unless? <laughs> okay, uh, let's pretend I didn't leap or I didn't teleport into that ability, but I got the kill. <laughs> I teleported into the ability and it knocked me back, but the minions got my back. If I didn't teleport into the ability, I was just gonna kill her with my three immediately. Whether the minions were there or not, that kill would have been mine. So we are two and oh, we are now finally ahead. Uh, it's kind of weird that we were behind when I got first blood. I thought it was kind of good against me. Let's put another point in my one. It's good damage. Let's get some poke. Just run out the back. Keep poking her. This is actually amazing for us. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, never mind. I wanted to kill her before she would get her, you know, before she would get my minion wave. Because if I kill her before getting my minion wave, it would have been worth so much. But obviously I'm playing behind her tower and it was kind of a weird position to be in. But I'm okay with it. I was hoping she would play a little bit closer to where I was. Your middle tower is under attack. Rain, rain. I can place my ward in the middle of lane. That way I can get a general idea of anything or anyone who passes through there. Get my red, that's okay. Now, can I take her red, though? I can indeed. Uh-oh, she's coming this way. Good to have wards, but I'm going to commit to this. That fear is so annoying. She got Spear of the Mages as well. Oh, she ulted. Remember, I have Blink, and if she aggresses here, I can kill her for sure. That was cute. That was that was cute with the, the Aegis. She almost, yeah, she almost had the turn around. She saved it till the very last moment. She didn't use the Aegis when I teleported. She didn't use the Aegis when I was chasing her. She waited until I was in her tower, which was really good, but I got her. Got her anyways, because I had my stun, which is always satisfying. Yeah. 
I will say the nice thing about going Bancrofts is uh, I just have a lot more mana sustain than I usually do when I play RDO because a lot of times I'll rush uh, Bumpus Hammer and you don't have that that mana sustain, so it's kind of nice. We do need to get some defense, so a Genji's is amazing here. Or uh, this, I, I mean, there's a lot of things you can go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go a Pages for her ultimate. But uh, in terms of defense items, Genji's is great. Void Stone's great. Pestilence, if they get a lot of life, still is great. Uh, yeah. If anything, actually, Void might be best because it works with Ardeo passive. Every time Ardeo hits an ability, it reduces their protections by two percent. And that works well with Void Stone. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go Genji's here, just for the additional mana sustain, the cooldown, as well as uh, just I don't know, just the, the passive really nice. Genji's kind of a luxury item if you would play. Because you're not like specifically trying to counter them. Of course if she went if she went vampiric Bancroft's Typhons, I would get pestilence. With her ult down, I don't I don't really feel afraid of fighting here like at all. Man, she gets a lot of movement speed from that. She's really fast. She's getting bankrupt now though. That is annoying. Again, we can kill her in 10 seconds if she stays. Because my Bancrofts is great and we are good at fighting at low health because of... Or excuse me, but Blink is great and we're great at fighting at low health because of Bancrofts. That is her meditation, so I'm less likely to want to fight her now. Now I am. Because <laughs> she went out of her tower. Ooh. No, I'm not going to get her. not going to get her. Ooh. Yeah, we barely get her. Nice. That was close. That was, yeah, that was close, RDO. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. It seemed like it, things were going well, then they, they didn't, and then she barely... I barely got in range of my one. I figured I was taking too much damage. I might as well commit for the kill. And then because I was able to land my one, I actually healed enough to where I was fine. I still had my Aegis, but... Uh, it can only do so much either way, but that heal is what saved me. And it healed me so much because I'm at low health. Scaling from Bancrofts gives it even more healing, so that was amazing. This Let's finish so Genji's. Let's start working towards... We can go Typhons. Honestly, I, I like the infinite heals here. I like the, the heals on wheels. And she is going a Bancrofts Typhons as well. And if she's doing that, then we can pop in a Divine Ruin. Although I would like a Rod of Tehuti. That's okay. I think we might be slightly overcapped on, or not slightly, a lot over overcapped on life still with Bancroft's Typhon. So, uh, you know, could sell Bancroft for something late game as well. Bancroft is a big early game item. It's still good late game if it's your only power item. Uh, but you can get Rod or something like that as well. Sometimes that's better. Just do a little drive by real quick. Come back. I do this a lot as I do, where I just kind of go back and forth and turn tower. Oh, that gear is so good. We do not have Typhons. Yeah, I was able to rush there for so long because her, her dragon ability was down. And I knew she wouldn't get it till I was already like really far on top of her. And I was able to get the root off, which was really nice. Also, sorry if my commentary isn't as like alert uh, right now as usual. I'm recording this like kind of late at night. And uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of tired. So, usually, usually uh, lately I've been trying to record the games the day before I upload them, but then I started doing it the day of, and that was kind of getting difficult with uh, my schedule, so now I'm trying to go back to the day before, but uh, I guess I'm, I'm a little late on this one, which is why I'm a little bit tired, but that's okay. If I make mistakes, my bad. I will try my best. Yeah, she is finishing her Bancrofts now. She still doesn't have defense. Uh, I will always say this in duel. Highly recommend at least one defense item. Um, if I'm playing a Guardian, I don't really get mad if someone builds one defense item. If they build double defense, I'll sometimes, you know, get me annoyed 
depending on what god they're playing. But you, you are, you know, you're entitled to one defense item in duel. Because, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of counter building and stuff like that, right? So don't, even if you're against a guardian, you don't got to feel bad about that or anything, you know? All right, let's go Typhons. This is incredibly powerful. I've had people go quad defense against me sometimes. Now that that gets annoying. <laughs> um, so what else can we build? Just divine, I guess. We kind of need it now. We might even need to swap our Genjis out for pestilence. That's all right. We have a lot of options. A lot of options. I would blink here, but she's full health. And generally, I like blinking when I have a kill guaranteed. But I don't really have a kill guaranteed when she's a uh, body block. She's at uh, full health. Now, if I want to bait her into a blink, I can. Unless minions have something to say about it. Ah, oh, dang it, dude! These minions hit me. Ah, I would have, I would have dope that. What well, that that one melee minion? I was trying to juke it, and it, it barely hit me. That's so annoying. That's okay. We are level 20, by the way. Let's let's get our final item. Uh, Bumbus Hammer is really the only starter item I'll like actively save to get it right away. Any other starter item, I just get it uh, whenever. Whenever I have the level and gold. Rudolph, nice. Wow, she is fast. Should be able to anyways. She does have uh, stuff ticking, like meditation stuff. That's good. We got a full minion wave, and that is GG. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, might get another RDO game in since this one's a short one. Um, I am actively trying to upload every single day. So, uh, you know, if, if, if we circle back to some gods, I mean, it shouldn't be too long before we go back to them. So I think it's okay to, to upload little quick games like this as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions about RDO, feel free to uh, ask me as well. I think starter items, you definitely want to go uh, either Vampiric or Bumbus Hammer. I feel like those are the best I've had success on. And the Bancroft's Typhons build is so good on RDO, but you don't have to go that either. You can go something else. I just find great success with that. Now, of course, if your opponent rushes anti-heal immediately, like if you see they have a Tainted still, then maybe don't go for the Bancroft's Typhons. Uh, it just depends, right? Depends on the situation. That's why I always try to say my videos. Anyways, you guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.